So from the earliest days of the Bitcoin industry, it was called digital gold. From the very, very beginning, even in the 2010 period when I joined the industry, it was uh, digital gold. The main reserve asset of central banks is gold. I mean, it's not that big of a leap. You have gold, you have digital gold. Frankly, people have kind of already adopted this idea that Bitcoin is a kind of scarce digital gold that just like real gold is inversely correlated with some forms of traditional system collapse or traditional system failure or risk. This is one of, or if not the main thesis of Bitcoin's value is that it is a hedge against other traditional systems. Basically the same thesis that most people that buy gold have is that it's a kind of hedge against various um, traditional system failures. I think it, it, it might not be as hard of a sell as it seems. The speculative nature of Bitcoin makes it, makes it more difficult. But gold also has a highly speculative nature. So I think there are already certain factors and ideas that are heavily in favor of this mental leap. And it might really not be as big of a mental leap. It might be more of like a mental jump. And at a certain point, a mental hop and a skip. That's probably where um, folks that see Bitcoin as a possible reserve currency would take this.